Let's create two models, city and region, and create relationships between them. Model name city, data source is DB in memory, persistent model, expose the city, the REST API, Blue, custom plural form as cities, common model, let's create a property name name, let's have string required, yes, default value blank. Great. And you can see on the left side, the city model was created with a plural form and properties name. Great. And in under server model config, the city is right here. Let's add the model for region. Database is memory, persisted model, expose it, regions, common name, property type, string, required, yes. Okay. Let's add a custom property for referring to the city, property name, city ID. This would be a number. Word no blank and that's it. So you can see the region was created and region has properties, the plural form, and the name we just created. Now let's create the relationship between the two models. We'll start with the relationship from the city. City has many regions. Enter the property name for the relation. Let's keep it as regions. Our custom foreign key is city ID. Now, let's create the relationship from the region. Region belongs to city, and the property name would be city. Custom foreign key would be city ID. No, no. Now, the region has a relationship with the city it belongs to the model city with a foreign key of city id similarly in the city let's start the node server and go to the api explorer city and region show up let's add cities austin paris So we get on them. Yeah, Austin and Paris are the two cities we've added. Let's add regions. Post to regions. Austin has downtown. And central. Paris has Saint Germain. And the Latin Quarter. to get on the regions if you want to get the city for every region using the belongs to relationship you can try it out here 94 should be Paris let's find all the regions that belong to cities this is Austin so it has downtown and central and ID Paris should have Saint Germain and Latin Quarter. This is how we create relationships between models using loopback.